Hello everyone, this is Barka Technical Solution and I am Fed Dusraman in this video, I am going to see how to use a DC motor with the Arduino. So here is our diagram that we are going to create. So here as you can see I am using a resistor to control all of this. So in this circuit the resistor will work like a switch rather than working like a traditional switch. A transistor uses an electrical signal to actually switch between on and off mode or uh, to pass the electricity through it. Here in this circuit, let me explain what I have done. So this is our transistor which is an NPN transistor and this is the DC motor. We are using a diode and a resistor and this is our Arduino Uno. So first let us see some basic information from here. The resistor we are going to use is an 1 kilo ohm resistor and this is our diode and the and this is the diagram of the diode. So the electricity will pass through from here from this point. So this is the point from where the electricity will pass through. So and this is our resistor. So as you can see our resistor has three pins. So this is the emitter, this is the base and this is the collector. So the so we will connect our resistor to this base and this will actually trigger the switch trigger our resistor to work like a switch when we pass the voltage through this base and this is a diagram of our of our transistor. So here what I have done is I have connected the resistor 1 kilo ohm resistor to the middle pin of our resistor of our transistor and that transistor is connected to the ninth pin of our Arduino and then I have connected the diode facing this position facing downward and it is connected to the collector pin. If I show you here this is the collector pin as you can see then pin number 3. So it is connected to the collector pin which is connected to a diode and which is connected to the 5 volt pin of our Arduino. And then the emitter pin of our transistor is connected to the ground pin of our Arduino and then we have our DC motor. So our DC motor is connected one of the pins so is connected to this collector of our transistor. So a DC motor does not have a positive or negative side it will work no matter which point you connect it, connect it to. So if you connect it like this it will rotate but if you reverse the connection the motor will spin in the reverse direction that is all it does not have any positive uh, positive or negative end. So you can just connect any of the pin to here. So what I have done is I have connected this yellow wire to the collector pin of our transistor which is connected to the diode and the other pin is connected to the 5 volt pin of our Arduino. So now you might ask why we are using a diode here. So when a DC motor actually spins it will create some additional current or electricity in this. So what happens is when we stop the uh, DC motor it will actually be spinning for some more time after stopping or after we have stopped the flow of current. But the while the DC motor will be spinning a current the current that is producing produced in this DC motor will flow through these wires and it might damage our transistor or DC motor or any other component that we have. So to prevent that we have to use a diode so that the current or the electricity that is produced while the DC motor is spinning cannot go through this line. So that is why we are using this diode as you know the diode only lets the current flow in only one direction not the other way around. So that is why we are using this diode. So that is all in our in our circuit. So now let us build this circuit. So this is the circuit that we have built according to our diagram that I have shown you. So let us explain you what I have done here. So these are the pins that are connected to the DC motor. You can connect the these pins any way you like you can reverse them if you like so it doesn't matter. So these are the 
pins that will connect to our DC motor. So, in our breadboard, you see this is the transistor we are using. So, in this transistor, this is the collector pin, this is the, the middle one is the base and the right one is the emitter. So, I have connected it. So, the collector pin here is connected to this black diode which is connected to the 5 volt pin of our Arduino and the emitter pin here is connected to the ground pin of our Arduino and then the middle pin which is the base pin of the transistor is connected to this resistor it is an 1 kilo ohm resistor and the resistor is connected to the ninth pin of our Arduino and then we have connected one of the motors pin to the 5 volt directly to the 5 volt of our Arduino and another one is connected to connected in between the collector pin and the diode pin of our breadboard. So, now what is left is that we would only connect these pins to the DC motor and our circuit is done. So, now we are in our Arduino ID. The program to control the DC motor is fairly easy. So, it is mostly like, like our blink program. So, what I have done is I have defined the motor pin. So, instead of constant we are using hash define and then we write the name or the variable for that pin and then we write the pin name. So, that is how we are actually defining anything. So, instead of the const int we used to use. So, now I have defined the pin that we are using the pin number 9. In void setup we use the pin mode and we set the motor pin to as output. Then we go to our word loop and we just use the digital write function to set the motor pin. We set the motor pin to high for 1 second uh, and low for 1 second. So, what it will do is it will turn on the motor for 1 second and then turn it off for 1 second and this loop will continue until we stop the program. So, now let us go and see how it actually works. So, now let us connect our Arduino and check it out how it works. So, let me just disconnect this. So, it does not go off as soon as I connect the Arduino. Now, if you see if I connect this to the spin the motor will start spinning. As you can see it spins for 1 second then turns off for 1 second. So, that is how actually we have program our DC motor. So, it is working perfectly as you can see. So, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.